My first exposure to computers was uh, during my undergraduate studies at the University of Muratua, uh, where I studied engineering from uh, 1979 to 1983. Uh, this was uh, an IBM mainframe uh, 1130 computer uh, where we had to kind of uh, program using like punch cards, using Fortran language and so on. Uh, it was an emerging field and uh, I sort of thought that's a field I would like to be involved with. Uh, of course, there was uh, no computer specialization at the University of Moratu at the time. And uh, also, of course, being uh, interested in electronics and telecom, uh, I specialized in electronics and telecom, which was, of course, also the closest we could get to computers. Uh, I passed out in uh, 1984. Uh, 1983 and 1984 beginning and then uh, joined Data Management Systems Limited as uh, an engineer. Uh, there we were kind of uh, responsible for supporting WANG mini computer systems, uh, WANG VS, WANG 2200 uh, systems uh, using uh, new technologies at that time uh, like uh, virtual machine technology and so on. I was involved in a project to bring uh, national languages uh, into the uh, computer systems at that time. Uh, after about a year of being at DMS, uh, there was a lot of pressure to uh, kind of get national languages into the computers which uh, kind of mainly operated uh, in English at that particular point. Uh, we did some initial work to uh, uh, change the font memories. Uh, in the WANG PCs, which had uh, come out by then. And uh, then, uh, working with uh, the WANG principals on an initiative to bring international languages uh, into the WANG systems, uh, we uh, embarked on a project to bring Singhala onto the WANG platforms. Uh, WANG had already kind of worked on certain Asian languages uh, in the uh, in uh, Thai and so on, and uh, we were able to leverage on some of those initiatives to bring Singhala uh, into the Wang uh, systems. Uh, this initiative, of course, was uh, unfortunately stalled uh, for at least one year uh, due to a, a court case uh, that happened, an intellectual property case, uh, which of course was uh, finally kind of settled out of court. And uh, then, of course, we proceeded on that initiative from there uh, to bring uh, Singhala into the uh, industry standard PCs uh, using some packages which we termed as Maubasa and Thai Moli later on, which were commercially sold. Uh, over the years, I was also kind of uh, involved in uh, the uh, SLSI committee on uh, ICT standards, uh, through which we were able to kind of formalize a lot of ICT standards uh, for the Sri Lankan industry. Another area that uh, I've been able to contribute over the years is uh, through the professional body for ICT in Sri Lanka, which is the Computer Society of Sri Lanka. Uh, I was a council member uh, from about 1999 as student councillor, as secretary, and uh, as vice president, and subsequently as uh, chairman, in, uh, to, as the president in 2003. Uh, this was also a momentous period where Sri Lanka migrated uh, from uh, the old uh, Syntec as, a stand, uh, as the apex body to the ICT agency and the new eSri Lanka initiative. Uh, I was uh, fortunate to be part of uh, some of those committees and so on that formulated uh, some of the plans uh, to uh, initiate the East Sri Lanka program. I've also uh, been uh, able to be uh, involved in some of the ICT education uh, initiatives in Sri Lanka, uh, especially with the University of Maratua, where I have been functioning as a visiting lecturer and also like I'm in serving uh, on some of the faculty boards. Uh, being a founder member of the uh, IT faculty, uh, faculty board at the University of Maratua, uh, and of course, uh, subsequently was also in more recent years able to be on the initial faculty board for the engineering faculty at the University of Sri Javadanapura. 
all in all, I think I can be uh, happy uh, with the progress that we've uh, kind of made in ICT in Sri Lanka over this particular period. But I think we have a long way to go. And uh, I think we need to kind of garner all our strengths uh, to take ICT to greater heights in Sri Lanka.